What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven in Stereo and in today's video we have a new track from Liam. I am so fucking excited about this. I have been impatiently waiting to do this reaction. Um, usually at the end of the month I do a lot of Patreon requests so because of that sometimes new releases that fall within like that last six days is uh, really difficult for me to get to but I'm really excited to be diving into this one today. You guys know I enjoyed LP1 a lot. I know that there was a lot of criticism about that album because it felt like Liam was trying to just do the popular thing to get on, um, like to get singles and all the collaborations that were to go on to do like these big numbers and stuff. But like for me, I feel like Liam's vocals work for that style. I feel like there's something about sort of the, the ranges that he sings in his swag that he seems to bring to every song that just makes everything feel like it could be a radio hit. Let's not forget that LP one has some of the craziest streaming numbers um, from some of those singles that are on there. So I was personally a fan and it really gets me excited to see LP two. Now, the other thing I want to point out since we haven't done a Liam video in a long time, he got people through the fucking pandemic like that dude did so many live streams he was so active on social media and i feel like he was he was for it it's it's weird to say this because like sometimes with artists you don't always get this but he was actually an accessible person for the majority of the pandemic and it was really cool to have that kind of entertainment value for all the fans that support so i'm really excited to say all those things um Today we're checking out Sunshine. This is coming from the motion picture. Ron's gone wrong. So um, I'm very interested to see what that is going to end up sounding like for him. Before we get into today's video, I just want to plug my Patreon. I do a ton of exclusive content over there. If you're into Liam or One Direction, I have so much content. Uh, literally, like all of San Siro, Apple Music Festivals, you name it, I've done it over there. So make sure to check out Patreon. Link is in the description. I'm throwing headphones on. So we can really take this in and enjoy those perfect vocals from Liam. This is Sunshine. You like a sunshine only giving good vibes any anytime that you rolling. Pulling me out never You see, we just started and exactly what I was just saying comes true. He has vocals that it just makes every song sound like a single. That's how I felt with LP1. Let me down and all I make sure you know it. You like a sunshine only giving good vibes any anytime that you rolling. That bass riff. This has definitely like a 90s, like a 90s pop sort of sound to it. And that's really cool to hear. Uh, I'm also just loving his vocal tone in this. Oh. So funky. And I think it's rubbing off on me Oh yeah, step to the left, step to the right You hey. are on What really matters is the journey that we're on Yeah, riding with you, I kinda know where I belong I belong You're like a sunshine on a given good vibes any any time that you <laughs> Okay this is just like something he's great at. Like you could write a song and just have Liam sing it and it'll sound like a single. What I mean is just like there's a level of consistency with these songs that he does where like you're you don't always know necessarily what it's sonically going to sound like. There's moments in this that have a little bit of a Daft Punk sound to them, but you always know that there's going to be a level of consistency that you can put this out and it's just going to be so easy to digest. It's just really great for mainstream music. I love these bass riffs. Woo! A little bit of a 70s vibe right there. Let's go. I love this chorus. It comes in so good. He 
is fucking vibing right there. This is such a solid instrumental. Look at him fucking vibing. So the the only thing that I have to say is that with it being a song for the soundtrack, I don't know if this is going to be like starting the hype train for LP2. So that's my only dilemma here is I am impatiently waiting for that album. And I think that because this is a soundtrack, I can't, I can't quite say, oh, this is definitely going to be the start to the rollout of LP2. But I am hoping uh, for all of the fan base sake that uh, we are getting this kind of a vibe on the album. Now, here's the thing about Liam, and, and I said this already in this video, but you don't always know what style he's gonna do. So obviously with this being a soundtrack song, it's gonna have a little bit different of a vibe. But just like we heard in LP1, I think one thing that I was that I was critical of, and I guess I wasn't even really critical of it, but there was no consistent sort of like topic or content that was going on it really did feel like a collection of singles and that's just because that's what liam does he puts his fucking vocals on a song he puts his vibe on it and that song can just go on to do whatever it wants so i am hoping with lp2 maybe there's a little bit of a concise feeling or a concise sound or something because i know he can do that and i'd be really interested to hear what that sounds like from him having said that this song is absolutely the perfect i'm so glad it came out in the summer because it is like the perfect ending to the summer. It's so upbeat. It's so happy. I think there's a perfect level of funk in this, especially with those bass riffs that are kind of going on. I know I talk about bass all the time on this, but there's just something about that funky element that is added here because when you have all those things together, especially with this up, um, very bright instrumental, dude, Liam's vocals are going to come in and make it perfect. I like the lower tone he sings in in this verse, but I think, again, with a lot of stuff that Liam does, when he pulls out that chorus, holy shit. It just, seeing him with a big smile on his face as that chorus hits, you just know that not only is the song fucking just spreading positivity, but also he's absolutely feeling it too. And obviously, as a fan, you always want to have those things. So I'm really so excited. Like I said, he deserves credit for getting people through the pandemic. Um, He's been doing so much on social media, and so it's really awesome to finally get a chance to get more music from him. And again, I am just going to say it one more time. Liam, if you ever see this LP2, please give us something. Give us a, a snippet, a teaser. Let us know that you're, you have stuff recorded or maybe a possible release date, anything. We just want some of it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys are thinking about this new track from Liam. I don't know if I'll see Ron's Gone Wrong. Honestly, I had no idea what was going on in that video, but uh, Liam's outfits were perfect and uh, the dude's hair is always on point. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.